Hello guys and welcome to this adventure. On this adventure we'll be exploring the Villa Formante in South Cimarron, located in the Philmont Boy Scouts of America camp in New Mexico. There's a lot of cool facts to talk about this place so let's get to it guys. This Spanish Mediterranean style house is 28,400 square feet. It was first constructed in 1926 and finished in 1927. The entire Boy Scouts Philmont Scout Ranch was a donation from the Phillips family. That was in two partials. In 1938, the Phillips family gave the northern part, which is located north of Cimarron. And then in 1941, they gifted the south portion, which is the one we're currently in today, which is where the house is laid, which is their summer home. And this room we're about to enter right now is White's Man Cave, or AKA the Trophy Room. You may be asking, who is White? And how is he important in the story? Well, he has a really cool, interesting story that I'm about to tell you right now. Believe it or not, he actually had an identical twin with a similar name. They were both born on a Southwest Iowa farm on January 19th, 1883. And his brother's name was White. And I'm being serious. Just take White's name and just switch to A and I in different places and you got his brother's name. But growing up, the two twins were inspired by their older brothers, Frank and L. E. Phillips about their adventures in the West and all the states they've been to during their travels. So when the twins turned 16, they left a small farm in Iowa and headed out for the Western part of the United States. And they were seeking any kind of job they could get their hands on, making money along the way. But sadly, his twin brother, Wyatt, had a ruptured appendix and died in Spokane, Washington on July 16th, 1902. And yes, it's the same place where Twilight took place in. After this tragedy, his two brothers sent him out to college and he eventually became an accountant. He got his first real job in Knoxville, Iowa as an accountant for the coal mining company. But at the time, the oil industry started to grow and sadly his mine operation got shut down. But luckily his two brothers actually had their hand in the oil business so they hired him immediately as their accountant. And the brothers didn't get along and see eye to eye business wise when it came to the oil company. So after eight years in 1914, he split from his two brothers to open his own company, the Wyatt Phillips Company. As for his brothers, they opened two different companies, the Phillips Petroleum Company and as well as the Phillips 66, which is yes, the still one we see today, which is the gas station Phillips 66. For him, he was doing great in the business. So good in fact that he caught the eye of an investment firm on Wall Street. And in 1925, he sold the company for $25 million. And in today's money, that's $440,500,000, if I said it right. And they purchased this ranch finally in 1922, and by 1932, they owned over 300,000 acres. And of course, the property was not always called Philmont. They named it Philmont because they took the Phil for Phillips, which is his last name, and Mont is a Spanish word for mountain, which was the property was surrounded by these mountains, which is also the backcountry that you guys saw in the last video, if you did see it. And you may be wondering, what led the Phillips family to donate this property to the Boy Scouts of America? Well, in the 1930s, the family was planning to go to California to get involved in the real estate business. So they decided to sell their family home in Oklahoma and also eventually give this property to the Boy Scouts of America. In the two partials I mentioned in 1938 and 1994 in the beginning of the video. Which brings us to today. Thanks to their donation and the Boy Scouts of America keeping their legacy alive, this property is exactly the same how it used to be back in the day. Nothing was changed besides one of the, I think, kitchens it was, because the staff is more modernized from the 1950s to 60s era. But besides that, everything else is original, as well as this cool old piano, which funny enough, none of the family knew how to play. So they actually had a machine installed so they could play it themselves. Here, give it a here.
awesome. And to be honest, I was so surprised. I didn't even think they had technology that advanced back in the day. And if you saw different parts of the house throughout the video when you're playing close attention, you might have noticed these weird looking UU shape brands. And the story behind that one is that, so Wyatt wanted to get a W as a brand, but that was already taken. So as a funny pun, I guess kind of a wink, he actually got double U's to be his brand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you might notice too the decorations in the house as well. A lot of more collected pieces from the Philips adventures in different parts of Europe. And also too, a lot of it was inspired by Spaniard or Spanish architecture. But when you enter their bedroom, you'll notice that it's more of a French kind of architecture. And that was because Philip's wife actually had most to say in that situation, which was a very good idea on his part. But seeing her personal bathroom, it shows a lot too. I've never seen a shower with six to seven faucet heads. Before the end of the video, guys, I'm gonna leave you with two things. So I won't spoil the whole tour for you guys. The first thing is what the Philmont logo is. And the story goes, I guess one of the employees must have saw this on the fireplace and they thought this would make a good logo. So the rest became history and that became the Philmont logo. And the second thing I'll show you is this nurses or nanny uniform. I'm not sure, I thought it was cool. It kind of reminded me of the nurses office from Silent Hill. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please guys, leave a like. If you got any questions, leave a comment. Please guys, subscribe, it helps me out. Thank you so much. Have a great day and be safe out there, guys. And take care.